Fast Keys is ideal for medical doctors and other health care or insurance professionals. It can automate the preparation of medical documents and reduces computer time, giving you back what matters most, time with your patients. Look how quickly we can now prepare the notes in the EMR system. I'll be using the text input and selection macros, which will insert dynamic entries into the text. I'm creating a new text expander, and this is a typical examination note I would write during the patient's visit. I'd first gather some basic information. Patient's name should be inserted at this position. I'll select user input icon and manual text input macro. I'll call it patient name, set a short description to be shown on the query, and keep the other things at defaults. Okay, so the placeholder was inserted at the place for the patient's name. I'll enter another field for the patient's age here. And since that has to be numeric, I can restrict this one to only accept digits. Then I need gender information. This is a selection between options. So I'll choose a selection form macro. Instead of allowing free text input, it's going to display a list of predefined choices. In this case, male and female. I can always select a preview to see what the control would look like. drop-down control should work fine. I'll do the same for the illness history information. Here, I can choose a slider. I can restrict the entry by specifying a range, let's say 1 to 30 days. Their main complaint should be a free text area, so I'll go with the manual text input macro here. And finally, I need to list the symptoms. This is another selection. I'll choose checkbox control, and this one is special because it allows me to select multiple items from the list. And because this will show all selected items, I can specify the delimiters too. The default ones are the comma and the word and as the last delimiter. Okay, let's check it out. Typing the abbreviation, filling in the missing information, and bam, my simple HPI note is ready. Okay, if I was too fast here, please check the links below to our other beginner tutorials about FastKeys macros. That should get you up to speed in no time, and then come back to this one. Let's check a few more examples. I've added some additional sections with macros to enter even more information. I'm not showing all the details here, but I'm sure you get the idea. Just a few tips. Body mass index can be calculated, so I can use a calculation macro. I'll name it BMI, and then I need to enter a formula based on the patient's weight and height. It's easy as I can click on this three dots button to select the input variables to help me populate it. And here in the examination section, I use predefined selections of my frequently used texts dependent on the patient's conditions. To improve visibility, I can add descriptions at the beginning separated by double colon. Running the abbreviation again, entering the information, You see, just takes a few clicks to complete. And finally, for entering the diagnosis, I can use autocomplete. I have my medical terms word list enabled, so I can simply start typing and select one of the suggested phrases. 
That's it. Fast and efficient with no typos or spelling mistakes. Of course, this example was simplified just to give you a few basic ideas of what can be done with fast keys. It's about saving time and focusing on the right things instead of typing repetitive things over and over. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the content, please subscribe to our channel. Also, check the description below for the link to the Fast Keys webpage. I'm public speaking coach and Fast Keys enthusiast Milo Shapiro. To learn about speaking coaching with me, visit publicdynamics.com. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.